Uh, my name is Edgar, and uh, I'm an engineer at Netflix working on tools and infrastructure. So container adoption has increased exponentially over the years, and so has the need to mass distribute. At Netflix, we launch as many as 3 million containers per week, so the need to innovate container distribution is important. So what is a container image? Here I have a Ubuntu image, and it consists of four layers. And a layer is just an archive of files and directories. I can unpack them from dot to bottom to reveal its contents. And layers are named after the hash of its content, just like IPFS. Uh, one key insight here is that uh, we can actually decouple what's the definition of Ubuntu from how we download it. Once I know what layer constitutes an image, it doesn't actually matter where I get it, because I can independently verify the hash. So we can leverage IPFS as a CDN for container layers. But first, let's visit, uh, revisit uh, how IPFS adds files. So a large file in IPFS is broken down to blocks, hashed to digest, and then stored as a self-described identifier known as CID, and then hashed into a tree of nodes uh, called a Merkle DAG, and the root CID is the identifier for the file. Going back to containers, for every layer in Ubuntu, we can actually uh, break it down to blocks, and then using the, uh, the root CID, translate it to a digest format that container D understands. Uh, by doing this, we created a peer-to-peer -peer version of Ubuntu. And then we can use an IPFS plugin for container D in order to retrieve container layers through IPFS. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to shard a peer-to-peer -peer image across the EC2 cluster and then try to download it. So uh, sharding, we're going to take every layer, break it down to chunks, some of which may be deduplicated, and then group them into roughly 33% of total size and then pin them on EC2 nodes on AWS. So here I have uh, three EC2 nodes on uh, EC2, and then uh, I am going to check the IPS repo, uh, and it, we start off with about 14 kilobytes of data. What we can do now is uh, shard the peer-to-peer -peer image across the cluster, such that each node has about 33% of the data. And then uh, when we check IPFS again, we'll see that they roughly have 20, 10 megabytes of data. So what we want to do now is measure how long it takes for every node on the network to receive 100% of the data. Let's see how that works. So that took about two seconds, uh, and that's close to Docker Hub speed using Akamai CDN. Uh, when we check IPFS, now they have about 28 megabytes of data. Checking container D, we can see that the layers are indeed present in all the uh, nodes. Uh, to make this more interesting, how about we scale up this experiment? So we're going to resize the server group to uh, 50 nodes. And uh, this is going to take a while, so we're going to skip ahead to when that's done. And now we have 50 nodes, uh, which means that when we shard the image, each node has 2% uh, of the image, or seven file blocks each. Uh, this is an unrealistic scenario, but we're just going to see how that works. So you can see there's a lot of network chatter, and that affects the distribution of the image. So it's going to take about 11 seconds. Uh, can I go next? So uh, container, uh, the container ecosystem already uses content addressable storage, so it makes IPFS a natural fit. Uh, I believe IPFS has a great opportunity to improve distribution. Uh, we just need to focus on benchmarking and performance tuning. Uh, so what's next? Uh, a paper from Slacker uh, sort of surveyed 57 different containerized applications and found that only about 6% of the data is actually used. So what we can actually do is back the container file system by a fuse, and then we can actually create a manifest that serializes the metadata for files. That way, we can boot up a container file system that uh, it's going to take you know, milliseconds because the manifest is only 200 kilobytes big. And then, on demand, actually download the files through the same IPFS plugin through uh, the IPCS, which is the project I work on. Thank you. <laughs>